Good morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel. We're still kind of sort of shadow banned. My views are way down and so is the uh, watch time. So, uh, who knows. Anyway, this is what we've been waiting on. This is uh, a purchase I made on eBay. Uh, the photographs, he took pictures of it out in the sun so that wood looked like it was a lot lighter than what it is. Uh, I think I'll get some saddle soap or something like that and get after it and try to clean some of the grime off of it. Uh, the original, I don't know if that's the original upholstery on this thing or not, but uh, it is small. And fortunately for me, we do have a large enough remnant that I'll be able to cover it. There's my little helper. She's trying to get up on top of this uh, tray to see what I'm doing. But uh, let me get it turned over. It looks like this stuff here, it's got one of them, uh, I'm going to try to hang on to this camera and show you what I'm doing. It's got some sort of crisscross stuff, and I think there might be a little bit of padding underneath there, um, but uh, it's obviously seen its better days. I'm going to... If, if I think I have some paneling and what I'm going to do or attempt to do is put that down inside here and then uh, put some uh, go get uh, like some one inch or two inch foam or something like that and put inside the framework here and then cover it with that cowhide and try to get it to match up all right, this is what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to see if I can find my tripod and, and try to do you a little better service as far as uh, reupholstering this small uh, piece of furniture. So, anyway, stay tuned. And we'll be right back. All right, man. I laid laid back some of the upholstery to kind of get a try to get an idea how this was done. And whoever did it was obviously a professional. And you can see where he had folded over, looks like about a half inch edge to wrap around into this area here. So, me personally, I'm learning as I go. You know how I do things. And you can, I got to get all them nails out of it. Like I said, I'm going to get it stripped down and cleaned up before I start putting things back together and uh, but yeah reverse engineering all right stay tuned all right man this is that crisscross stuff that I was talking about that he did it looks like burlap or something I've got to clear all that out and then uh, get all this cleaned up for being able to fill it back in wipe off all the dirt and stuff but that's would look like like insulation or something uh, probably not what that was but anyway I gotta get all that removed and uh, I'm not filming that part of it because gosh Y'all know how to tear stuff up. Alright, uh, yeah, just like I do. So, anyway, I gotta get that removed and get all them little nails pulled out, and then I'm gonna start cleaning this thing up. So, I keep repeating myself like a broken record, but that's how it's done. Be right back. Alright, I don't know if y'all can see this or not, but this is kind of what you run into when you're reupholstering antiques. It's been done several times and uh, so I've just got to <laughs> start easing them old nails out but boy there's a bunch of them it's like with that rocking chair we removed all of the tacks that we could possibly remove giving us a kind of sort of fresh surface to work with because the last thing you want is to try to Try to do this and 
put a tack on top of another tack. But it looks like the original might have been upholstered in between two pieces of wood. So it's kind of interesting. I guess I'll learn more about this piece of furniture once I get the rest of this crap cleaned off of it. So uh, I'll be back shortly. Okay, everyone, I got all them nails pulled out of that. There's one that got broke off. Let me see it. Then I pulled the nails out of, out of the top. And nails underneath and on the sides of it. And what I'm doing out here now, I'm going to clean, do some wiping it down a little bit, probably with mineral spirits, to try to see if I can clean some of the dirt off of it. And then, uh, I've got this piece of birch I don't know what you call it, eighth of an inch, maybe quarter inch something like that. I'm going to cut it and put it down inside here and that'll give me a platform to put the foam in and I was looking at how this thing's set up, trying to figure out the best way, because I wanted to, to cut it out one piece where it would fit around the corners here, but I don't know that I'm savvy enough as far as making a puzzle out in my head. It's probably something Joe Jensen could pull off, but I'm not there yet. I'm just an amateur upholster, if you want to call me that. But, uh, that's what I'm fixing to do now, set that thing up and get it, get that uh, piece measured and then try to cut it to fit in there. We'll see what, we'll see what happens. Alright guys, stay tuned. Okay, what I've gone and done, I have cut this piece of uh, paneling out in the shape of the, those legs, but what I'm uh, hoping to accomplish, I guess I need to trim it down a little bit so that I can get it underneath and in place underneath so that when I put that foam down it'll be sitting on top of this underneath this and uh, then I can just wrap it so I'm going to play around with this a minute because I know I'm going to have to cut a little bit off of each each side to, to get it up underneath there, but at least I've got this cut out where it needs to be as far as that goes. And like I said, I'm doing this by the seat of my pants, so all I, got, all I can say is I'm going to cross my fingers and hope this thing works. I'll uh, bring you back. Good morning, it's Sunday, and I'm starting on this again, and uh, this is what I've done. It wasn't exactly what I wanted it to do, but it will work, and that'll give me something to put the foam down on, and my wife has already got the foam cut, and uh, we are getting ready to mark and cut the goat skin to go over the top of this, and uh, it's going to go pretty quick, I think, unless we screw it up. That's entirely possible. But I need to uh, need to wipe it down. Got some birds. Gonna clean it up a little bit, and then uh, go back in and start that journey. So stay tuned. We're 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 getting there. All right, I'm back, and I've got this thing marked out. There's two different sets of lines. The inner line is the original uh, a pattern taken from the original cover that we took off of it. The outside line that you see is where we're going to make the actual cut. And then we're going to cut up this diagonal mark here. And then we're going to roll this inward so that we can get right up against the, uh, the top of these legs to tuck it in properly. And that was just the, uh, the original... Uh, cover that I took off was done the same exact way, so that's what uh, kept it nice and tight. I uh, wiped it down and got some old English and some pledge after it. It's definitely it, it's darker. It was darker anyway than what the rocking chair was, but 
it'll work. It, you can, when the light hits it, you can really see uh, that kind of gold yellow color in some of the lighter uh, areas of the uh, grain. But I'm fixing to uh, take this out. I got a brand new uh, box knife that I'm going to do the cuts with, nice and sharp. And uh, we're going to get this cut out and we're going to start wrapping the top. So uh, let me go get that done and, and uh, I'll bring you back. Okay, I guess I got a lot of editing to do because there's a big long segment because the camera didn't get turned off. But that's the reason why I made the, the notch cuts like I did. And uh, probably going to have to trim some goat hair to re-expose those. But I've got my electric stapler. And I'm going to put a couple, you know, probably two staples here. Two to three on this side here. Just to get it uh, held in place. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I'll turn it over and pull it and secure it and cut it and do what I need to do to uh, finish it out. We're almost done. This is this is gonna it's gonna look nice. It doesn't quite match the uh, rocking chair because it's a lot lighter but uh, I'm hoping that you know no big deal. Alright see you in a few. Okay everyone well it worked out like I had hoped and you see how we got the uh, the hide around the uh, top corners of the legs and then I did all the I'm not going to put any tacks or anything like that on the outside of it and I've got the bottom of it stapled into the or the the hide stapled into the bottom that's why I put uh, I reinforced the uh, the bottom I made for it so the foam turned out good <laughs> the uh, I know I overpaid for that. I found the uh, the footstool on eBay at an antique shop. He was quick about getting it to me. It was uh, uh, seventy four dollars and then twenty dollars to ship it. So with the tax and stuff, it ended up over a hundred a hundred dollars and some change. And then uh, I didn't have enough remnant, so we had to uh, purchase a goat hide to finish it off. So it's a little bit lighter than the rocking chair, but uh, it'll work. That was seventy dollars plus tax, so yeah, this won't be sold. <laughs> I'm not gonna make any money with it, but I didn't, wouldn't do it, making it to or redoing this to sell anyway. So there it is. That completes my little uh, man cave uh, rock and chair and footstool. You guys have a great weekend. Like and share and subscribe. Catch you on the next video.